Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. Today we are going to uh, solve one fantastic question from Time and Work chapter. That too, using alliation rules, a new technique. Most of the students may not be knowing this one. Using alliation rule in time and work. Using alliation rule in time and distance also. Simple interest, compound interest, percentages, profit and loss. Many places we can use alliation rules. To use that one, you must know the basic understanding of alliation rules. What I do, already I have discussed the basics of alliation on YouTube. I am going to give you that uh, link in the description box. You please watch that basic video after that come back to this. And by the way students coming to this question, the background of this question actually uh, this is our regular course actually. This question is taken from our regular course, 6th chapter of time and work, 6th session of time and work. I have taken this question. Let us go to that question directly. Right, right. This is the question. Actually, this question is second question of our sixth video on time and work. All right. Already I posted this one uh, in all our groups, telegram groups and channels. And by this time, most of our students must have finished this one. If you know the technique doing this question is very easy. Within 30 seconds, you can do this one by using alleviation method. But students, before going for the alleviation rule, let us discuss this question with the uh, LCM method first. Then after that, we will go to the alleviation part. You please watch the complete video so that you can understand both the methods at a time. Okay, how to go with the LCM one? Simple. First, you read the question properly. What is that? A and B together completed the work in 30 days. A started the work and worked on it for how many days? 60 days. And he left the work. Then B completed the remaining work in 44 days. Then the question in how many days B alone can complete the whole work. I told you the technique. First go for the question part. B alone can complete in how many days. That means I need total work first. Alright. Divide in by B's one day's work will give me the answer. That's it. Always start the questions like this. Total work by B's one day's work. Generally in LCM method, we take the LCM of two or three numbers according to the question as the total work. Here they have given only one, only one variable. Anyway, we will try to do this with LCM method also. First LCM method followed by alleviation rules. Okay, right. Now, how to go for this? A and B together can complete in 30 days. A and B together in 30 days. Suppose if they have given A and B in 30 days, C in 40 days, or A in 30 days, B in 40, C in some days, we would have taken the LCM of all the two or three numbers. But only one number is there. How to take the LCM? Now here, no need to go for least common multiple. Simply you take any multiple of 30. That's up to you. You can take 60 or you can take 33, 90, 120, 240, whatever it may be. Okay, for the best convenience, I am taking next multiple 32 is a 60. I am imagining that 60 units of the work as total work. Of course, one variable is done. Now, in one way or the other way, I need to find out B's one day's work. Very easily, I can do that one because clearly they have given that A work for 16 days. That means 16 day work of A plus 44 day work of B. Okay. 16 day work of A plus 44 work of B is equal to total work. Total work is 30. Alright. Now very simply I can bifurcate that one to find out B's efficiency. B's work per day. How to go for this one? Just take AB as one set. B as the other one. Isolate B so that I can find out B's one day's work. How to isolate this one? 16 day work of A. Let's bifurcate in this way. 16 day work of A and B. Okay. Plus already from this 44 I have taken out 16. What is left out one? 28. Plus 28 day work of B equal to total work. I know A plus B is one day's capacity. What is that one? Here when A plus B can do the work in six uh, like 30 days. Total work is 60 per day. A plus B can do 60 by 32 units per day. Isn't it? 
total amount of work 60 60 units of work can be done by a and b in 30 days that means per day they can do two units of work now a plus b's per day work is two units 2 into 16 that is 32 work plus 28 day work of b equal to 60 this is all amount of work now here 28 b is equal to 60 minus 32 28 This twenty eight and twenty eight are cancelled, so B is equal to one. What do you mean by B is equal to one? B can do one unit of work per day. I got what exactly I need here. Now total amount of work is sixty divided by B's one day's work is one unit. Then in how many days B can complete the work means my answer is sixty days. As simple as this one. Okay, now let's start the same question with the aleation rules. It won't take more than thirty seconds to do it by yourself if you learn the method properly. By the way, students, before watching this one, before applying this one, if you are a beginner, you please watch the basics of aleation with the help of the link given in the description box. Okay, right. The basic rule, one of the very important rules to apply aleation is that we should have a mean value. Then cheaper value. Dearer value. If you use the aleation method, you will get the ratio of quantity. Okay, the same thing we are going to apply here. How to here? No cheaper value, no dearer value, no mean value. Here, how to interpret? How to imagine that one? A and B can do in thirty days. You take thirty as the common value. Then A can do the A did sixteen days work. After that, B completed in forty four more days. That means total work has been divided into two parts. Allegation is applicable only when total is divided into two parts. Remember that one. If it is more than two parts, of course we can do, but with other method. All right. So now, how to take it now? Thirty. Thirty is the common one I am taking. In thirty days, these are days. Remember, days A and B can complete the work. Now A, how many days? A worked for sixteen days. And B work for forty four days. Remember, this is days, this is days, this is days. All the three must be of the same kind. Next, you see. Always remember, students. While applying aleation rule, you know this one. If you start with the price, all our cost price, for example. If you start with price, you will end up the ratio will be in terms of what? Try to recollect that one. When you start with price, the ratio will be in terms of quantity. Then, if you start with the speed, speed, you will get the ratio of time. Remember, speed will become time ratio. Now, here I am starting in time in work. When you start with the time, days means that is time. Then you will get the ratio of efficiency. Remember, when you start with the time, you will get the ratio of Efficiency. Now A and B's efficiency I get directly because to solve in how many days B alone can do that total work divided by B's one day's work. There is no change in this one. This is one. Now with this one you can get the ratio of A and B's efficiency. Go for the cross subtraction. What is that? Forty-four minus thirty is fourteen. Then thirty minus sixteen is fourteen. Fourteen is to fourteen, or one is to one. What do you mean by one is to one? Very simple, students. A's efficiency per day. A can do one unit of work. B can do one unit unit of work. Now I got this value. B is one day's work. Then after that, what is the total work? Total work can be found out in this way. A and B's one day's work is one plus one. Two units. In how many days they can complete that? In thirty days. Now total amount of work is thirty days into two units per day. This is the total amount of work divided by B's efficiency is one. Now in how many days B can do this one? Thirty two is a sixty days. How simple this one. Isn't it, student? Right. Very simply, without writing anything on the paper, also you can do. Once you decide to apply rule of aleation, no need to write anything on the paper. Quickly, I'll tell you. You have read the question. You understood this one. 
total work divided by b's efficiency there are only two parts in the question a and b you have decided to apply rule of elevation then simply you can say like this 30 in the middle 44 and 16 or 16 44 1 is to 1 a's efficiency 1 unit per day b's also 1 unit per day in one day they can do 2 units of work 2 into in how many days they can do the complete work 30 days that is 60 b's efficiency is 1 60 by 1 my answer is 60 days this is how we solve the questions in our regular course in the regular course students first i give you the complete concept then we go for the shortcuts and i teach in such a way that students can develop the shortcut by themselves that is the right approach actually you should go to this that stage where you have to develop the shortcut to go for that one the concept should be in a proper way anyway students thank you very much and uh, i advise the students who have not joined the telegram channel to join that so that you can get all the latest updates thank you very much